New research has found that cannabinoid is active against gram-positive bacteria, including those responsible for many serious infections, with potency similar to that of established antibiotics, such as vancomycin or daptomycin. The research is presented at ASM Microbe, the annual meeting of the American Society for Microbiology. Cannabinoil, the main non-psychoactive chemical compound extracted from cannabis and hemp plants, has been approved by FDA for the treatment of a form of epilepsy and is being investigated for a number of other medical conditions, including anxiety, pain and inflammation. While there is limited data to suggest cannabinoil can kill bacteria, the drug has not been thoroughly investigated for its potential as an antibiotic. Work led by Dr. Mark Blaskovich at the University of Queensland's Institute for Molecular Biosciences Centre for Superbug Solutions, in collaboration with Botanics Pharmaceuticals Limited, an early stage drug discovery company investigating topical uses of synthetic cannabinoid for a range of skin conditions, found that cannabinoid was remarkably effective at killing a wide range of gram positive bacteria, including bacteria that has become resistant to other antibiotics and did not lose effectiveness after extended treatment. Importantly, the drug retained is actively against bacteria that has become highly resistant to other common antibiotics. Cannabinoid was also effective at disrupting biofilms, a physical form of bacteria growth that leads to difficult to treat infections. Charlotte Coldwell, whose son Bill Coldwell suffers from severe epilepsy and is reliant on medical cannabis to control his seizures, will test the law surrounding the prescription of medicinal cannabis in a judicial review at Belfast High Court on Tuesday the 25th of June, in a case that potentially loosen up current restrictions on the 35,000 general practitioners from prescribing cannabis-based medicinal products. Medicinal cannabis has been legal in the UK since November 2018, but can only be prescribed by specialist doctors in a limited number of circumstances. The result is that thousands of patients who could potentially benefit from medicinal cannabis are denied access, and many being forced to turn to illicit supplies to relieve their suffering. Should the ruling in Northern Ireland fall in favour of Mrs Caldwell, it could potentially be authoritative across the whole of the UK. It is a very exciting time to be living in Illinois. In Chicago, Governor J.B. Pritzker is expected to sign a state bill legalizing marijuana possession into law Tuesday. The Cannabis Regulation and Taxation Act is about to make Illinois the 11th state to legalize recreational marijuana and be the first to legislatively legalize the retail sale. This was passed by the General Assembly in May, just before the end of their legislative session. The bill will be effective as of January the 1st, 2020. This program will begin in dispensaries that are already open for Illinois medical marijuana patients. All adults over 21 will be legally allowed to purchase up to 30 grams of cannabis flower, edibles that total no more than 500 milligrams of THC and 5 grams of cannabis concentrates. Non-residents can purchase up to half of those amounts. Illinois medical marijuana patients will be allowed to cultivate up to five marijuana plants at home for their personal use. This alone is much different than Colorado's current recreational laws. In Colorado, 28 grams of cannabis flower, 8 grams of cannabis concentrate, and up to 100 milligrams of edibles are legal for recreational users. In Illinois, the bill also includes criminal justice and social equity programs aimed at helping individuals and communities that have been affected by the war on drugs. This includes pardon and expungement cases for those convicted of possession of under 30 grams. The nation is going through a marijuana revolution, but officials throughout the federal government continue to live in the prohibitionist anti-drug eras of ages past. That's no longer good enough for many lawmakers on Capitol Hill. A bipartisan group of senators and representatives are increasing pressure on the Food and Drug Administration to release and implement new rules for CBD after Congress legalized industrial hemp last year. But lawmakers are increasingly annoyed that officials are dragging their feet. They say it's causing confusion and costing America, American businesses money. Specifically, they want to know where the agency will release guidance for CBD products and if the FDA is reaching out to the states and local uh, localities 
that are cracking down on CBD and alerting them that the products are now legal. They're also pressing the agency on when it plans to hold its long-promised public hearing on the issue. Changes to California's marijuana packaging regulations will require all vaporizer cartridges to display the state's version of the universal symbol, a move that will cause manufacturers to adjust practices and spend considerable money to comply. The symbol is a triangle bordering a marijuana leaf and is an exclamation point with CA underneath. CA is California's postal abbreviation. According to the California Department of Public Health, cannabis packaging that was under compliant under the state's emergency rules but isn't compliant under permanent regulations must be shipped to a licensed distributor by June 30th. And retailers must sell these non-compliant products by December 31st. The health department suggests manufacturers either use stickers to display the symbol or repackage products with compliant materials. The Swiss government aims to make it easier for patients to get medical marijuana, proposing on Wednesday to allow prescriptions for cannabis to treat people suffering from cancer or other serious conditions. The proposal, separate from a Swiss government, push to allow some cities to experiment with recreational marijuana would replace the current system in which those seeking medical cannabis must apply for exception from the Federal Health Office to get what is otherwise an illegal drug. Marijuana is sometimes used to help cancer patients manage chronic pain, to help boost their appetites, and to reduce plasticity associated with multiple cirrhosis. Switzerland cited increased use of medical marijuana in the treatment of a variety of conditions as driving its initiative. Federal authorities granted around 3,000 exceptions for people seeking to get medical marijuana in 2018. Legislation allowing the Medical Cannabis Access Program to operate in Ireland will be signed by Minister Simon Harris today. A new pilot program that allows access to cannabis-based products for medical use has just launched this morning. There are no medical cannabis products available in Ireland in this current climate, and this program will operate on a pilot based for five years. It's been two years in the making, initiated by the Health Products Regulatory Authority. After an investigation by Health Products Regulatory Authority, it was deemed that cannabis-based products be made available to patients with multiple cirrhosis and epilepsy and people suffering from nausea in chemotherapy. Legislation means that commercial operators whose cannabis products meet the specified requirements will be able to supply products to the Irish market. The program will make it possible for a medical consultant to prescribe a cannabis-based treatment in cases where patients fail to respond to standard treatment. Simon Harris is calling it a significant milestone in the development of health policy. The health minister asked an expert group to access scientific evidence and he set out his recommendations for medicinal cannabis. After a four-week delay, the Health Products Regulatory Authority published its report today, which suggests that a compassionate access program be set up. Patients must be supervised by a doctor, and a central register will keep track of who is permitted to use cannabis-based treatments. It also states that only patients who are resistant to all standard therapies and interventions should consider it.